side-by-side -side construction update for the entire month of February and into March for all things Tesla. A quick thanks to newest patrons Eddie and Ben for joining. I appreciate your support. It's why I can actually do this. And I got to meet Eddie in Texas. That was very cool. Not once, but twice. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Well, there is a lot to cover this month. In Shanghai, there's a new bridge being built connecting the site to the roadway to the west. In Berlin, they've expanded the north holding lot where the trucks park waiting to go in and out. The stamping building has roof beams and new vaults for foundations and uh, some roof decking. Apparently, they're going to be expanding this from one stamping machine to two large additional ones and two smaller ones. Along the highway, we see a lot of clearing. This is to facilitate road widening, new on and off ramps to support the factory, and the new highway interchange going in just to the southwest of the site. On the southwest part of the building, there's more solar panels that have been added and a lot more mountings for solar panels over the general assembly area. We're going to see a lot more solar coming in here soon. The corner with the entrance has seen some more work on the rooftop area. Perhaps this is the rave cave? We don't know. And the employee parking, very full, very crowded, and the solar canopies are on hold. Apparently, you can no longer fly directly over Giga Berlin uh, because they didn't have permits for those uh, solar canopies, and it was found out through the drone footage. Uh, flying the perimeter doesn't stop that, but hey man, here we are. There's a lot of road widening going on here, and a new interchange going in, a lot of work, and it's coming along. The temporary switchyard in the central area has been removed. It's a permanent switchyard now. That's great. The train station appears to be a bit on hold. Not much progress there. Uh, permits appear to be in, uh, so we will see that moving forward soon. The southeast entrance has been paved, and the uh, retention pond just across from the factory at the southeast is done. It's in, and it looks great. By the 4680 building, the retaining wall there has been backfilled, the road's been paved, and connected. At the 4680 building itself, the loading platforms are gone. Almost everything's inside, at least things that need to go into higher floors. This bodes well for getting into production this year. Over by the utilities, there's a big new clearing that's being graded. Looks to me like it might be a parking lot. Uh, has curbs, so we'll see on that. And at the north of the site, there are a kajillion castings. This isn't surprising. You keep the machines running, so if there's any delay on the inside, the casting machines are the slowest to turn on and off. Uh, it's best to keep them moving and just stockpile. The materials and the energy are not a, a substantial cost, uh, but downtime for the entire line would be. The logistics lot is well sorted out, in motion all the time. And at the northeast of the site, the trailer yard is expanding because, as you can see, it's quite full. In Texas, at the northeast corner, you can also see castings piling up. Uh, I know from a conversation I heard with some te Tesla employees that this means there was some small amount of downtime on the actual production line and the castings do not stop. They just keep moving. Along the east side, there's some concrete being reworked, because what would Texas be without some concrete rework? At the southeast corner, we can see it's cleared out a lot. All the gear, all the equipment, has gone inside for installation. The south end of the building is likewise very well cleared. It looks like construction here may begin soon. And a lot of staining has taken place on the surface of the building. You might think it's paint, but it's stained because it's concrete. On the west side, the cyber entrance is looking real sharp. Over in the parking lot, there are solar canopies. I assume they had permits for these ones. Over at the cathode building, uh, the HVAC on the ground level is in use, and there's a lot of progress that has taken place inside, with equipment going in and finishing work inside. Next to it, just to the west, is the dye shop which now has footings inside, and a roof, and uh, floor work has been done as well. All this is waiting on is walls, and of course the finishing inside. 
Over at the switchyard, we're seeing a lot more equipment going in. This should be ready to switch on probably in two months would be my guess. And the only other thing in Texas to note is that the installation of the very large solar array on the roof appears to be on hold. I don't know. I think they're waiting for the switchyard to go in to better handle the power load, or maybe the Megapack installation to go in up next to the switchyard. Back to you, Lars. <laughs> yeah, so that's how I do it. That's how I do it. It came out short. It always comes out short. I come out short. I blame my mom. Yeah, big thanks to my patrons. For real, you guys, uh, only about 22% of my income comes from YouTube. Because I don't put explosions and fire and hyperbole in my thumbnails the way a lot of channels do. Doomed. No, that's not. Uh, uh, explosion. No, no, I don't do that. I don't do that. Maybe I should. Don't make me do that, you guys. I'm counting on you. So what did I miss? What did I misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts in a them. A comments below. Stay tuned. Stay juicy. Can't wait to hear from you clever robots on that flippity flop. And yeah, what did I miss? I mean, the Texas trip. Oh. So good. Met so many amazing people. Of the people who came to the event, <clears throat> the uh, the pregame show that we did, I would say there was probably only 10% of them who I hadn't met before, either in Texas or at other places. So many great people. Such a great community. And the questions asked in the panels were truly wonderful. If you haven't checked out the drone pilot uh roundtable we did and the expert panel with Alexandra Mertz and uh, Trev's Great Life and Tesla Herbert and Alien Space. Oh, you gotta. They were just wonderful. So thank you guys for being part of this amazing journey and I'll talk to you soon.